Good morning, YouTube. I have here my latest endeavor in uh, pigment dispersion making. Um, I have here some phyllo green, 90 grams, and it fills up this this uh, lower tone um, tumbler barrel almost halfway. And I have all my uh, liquid components mixed together. Uh, it has defoamer in there, so it's a little cloudy. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. I'm going to add this to this phalo green because it's such a fine pigment that uh, I'm thinking as soon as it's wetted, it's going to uh, shrink in volume. So I can add my ceramic media. Let it flow, let it flow. Yeah, in the beginning when I started this out, I would frequently forget my defoamer. <laughs> this time I just put it in a liquid. I don't have that problem now. Let's see what I have. Well, it seems like I have more volume and the pigment is mostly just not dispersing. So, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to I'm going to start to stir this a little bit. Let's see if I can get some of the liquid. in between the particles of phalo. I've been mixing this uh, with a palette knife intent intently for several minutes now. And it seems to be wetted. And as you can see, I mean, it, it's taken a far less volume of the drum. But look at this consistency. This is very interesting. Uh, I've been, like, just by tapping it like this, I've been able to see, expose some of the dry powder and re-agitating it, but I just, it's just like cement. I'm probably, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the media and t uh, put it on the rock tumbler for the first 24 hours to check the consistency, see if it gets thins, thins out once the liquid is able to migrate around and disperse the pigment particles. And um, if so, I can always add 50 milliliters of distilled water to thin it out so I can separate it from the media and pour it into bottles. So this is what I'm working at so far. I'll post updates. It's been running on the uh, rock tumbler for a little over 36 hours. It was like a concrete now. It's kind of like, uh, like a melted frosting or something. Or, Pancake batter. And as you can see, it's no longer two thirds full of the drum. So I can put the remainder of the grinding media in there. I'm going to add 25 milliliters of more water. Here, I've ran this more than 48 hours. It is ready to be strained. You can see it's a lot more liquid than it has been. It's, I'm going through the strainer. I'm going to separate it from the ceramic media. A lot of it's still sticking to that. It's still thick enough to be kind of like a pigment paste, and that's kind of like what I'm going after. I'm just kind of shake this and let this drip a little while.